Thank you. Thank you, Ufi. Thank you very much for that uh, warm welcome this morning. Can I actually begin um, by echoing uh, Jonathan's opening comments about the tragedy in Tunisia? I think all our collective thoughts and prayers are with the victims of their families, and it is incredibly important uh, that we all come together uh, at this uh, particular stage um, to support those who are in need of, our, uh, of that support right now. It is a real pleasure for me to be here at the Tourism and Hospitality Summit today, and I'd like to thank Ufi and the BHA for arranging such a fantastic event and for inviting the key industry leaders to discuss the most pressing, pressing issues of the day in the tourism and hospitality sector, and of course, its future. Actually, as you can imagine, I'm absolutely thrilled and a little bit surprised, given my previous voting record, uh, to be the new Minister for Tourism. And it, it was actually a tourist, uh, tourism event that I did, which was my first event as a minister. Um, so it's incredibly uh, important and indeed thrilling for me to be at this summit today. I know uh, that you will discuss some of the industry's many, many success stories uh, throughout the day, but equally the real issues and challenges facing the sector across the country. The government really does value tourism it takes it incredibly seriously. And I know I don't need to tell you all about the value of the tourism industry to the UK economy. You all did an incredibly impressive job of getting me and the Secretary of State up to speed during the Select Committee's inquiry on tourism, which I have to say was, I think, a really interesting uh, inquiry, one that we took incredibly seriously. We all got in very passionate about the issues uh, that uh, came up during that inquiry. And in fact, actually, because of the evidence that we received, some of us actually changed our mind on some of those key issues that were presented before us. So I think you did an, an excellent job at advocating your key issues to the committee, who have now, obviously, two of which are now within the department, myself and the Secretary of State. So you, you might not need to tell me about the value uh, of tourism, but certainly as tourism minister, I'm going to ensure that I tell absolutely everyone uh, about tourism and the fact that it directly contributed nearly £60 billion to the UK economy last year. That's nearly 4% of the whole economy. And furthermore, last year it was yet another record-breaking year for inbound visits and spend with over 34 million visits and almost £22 billion spent. This can be attributed in no small part to the hard work and success of the tourism industry itself. As Ufi mentioned, uh, and indeed Jonathan mentioned, tourism creates jobs. In the last few years, employment in tourism-related industries increased at twice the rate of other industries. And I know that the BHA's big conversation is helping young people secure employment, work experience, and apprenticeships within the sector. So now as Minister for Tourism, I see it as my role to highlight the huge contribution tourism makes to my colleagues across government, in Parliament, and to the country more widely. But in the meantime, I wanted to take this opportunity to say a huge thank you to the industry for all its hard work to date and congratulate it on the many, many successes it has seen so far. What we're seeing today is that the visitor economy is at the forefront of the economic recovery. There is always more work to be done, but I want to make sure that the tourism sector gets the significant recognition it deserves and that it receives the continued support it requires across government. I recognize that the best way to develop the sector even further is by working in partnership with industry. Government and industry need to continue working together in order to build upon our many existing successes. Now, of course, you'll be aware that we're currently in the middle of a spending review, and this will be a challenging time for all of us. However, as we go through this, we will continue to work across Whitehall with our arms length bodies and with business to ensure that the tourism industry is vigorously protected and promoted. Over the past few weeks, I've been considering a whole range of issues facing the industry, from jobs, skills and apprenticeships to business visits and events and boosting regional tourism. I'm extremely keen to hear your views and to get out and about to see this exciting sector in action. So please do get in touch um, with the department. 
I'm also hugely excited about how tourism fits in with the rest of my ministerial portfolio at DCMS. As many of you know, I'm also uh, Minister for Heritage, and there's obviously quite an obvious link between tourism and heritage, but I'm also Minister for Sport. And the significance of this can be seen straight away by the up-and-coming Rugby World Cup, which we're, of course, hosting this autumn. Now, a recent report by the tournament organisers suggests that this World Cup will attract more international visitors than ever before, contributing nearly £1 billion directly to the UK economy. So with rugby supporters travelling the length and breadth of the country for the better part of a month, this is a huge opportunity for tourist accommodation providers, local attractions, restaurants and bars, as well as many others to benefit from this exciting spend. So by assuring that those coming to see the Rugby World Cup get the same welcome and experience that we provided during the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games, we will deliver a tourism legacy along the same lines as 2012. And I think we really can do that. And I think it's been, uh, people often ask why um, they put tourism and sport and heritage together. But I think actually, if we work together and across those areas, then we can have a really beautiful relationship going on and really make sure that we make the most out of all those different aspects of the brief. So really, it is all for me just to say that I hope you enjoy the rest of this fantastic summit today and enjoy listening to some of the brilliant keynote speeches. Uh, I note that you have Boris uh, coming along later today, which uh, I'm sure will be extremely entertaining. Um, I very much look forward to working closely with many of you in the near, f near future and building upon the great success of our tourism sector. And just to finish by saying that um, we on the Select Committee I really put a lot of effort into that select committee report. It is a very really, um, odd situation, I think one might say a unique situation, that two authors uh, of a select committee report are now going to be authoring the government's response to that report. Um, so, but you can be assured that that response will be out within the next couple of weeks. Uh, and given how much John and I cared very passionately about that uh, report in the first place, um, I'm sure you'll be interested to see our response to our own report. But uh, uh, in the meantime, have a fantastic day, and thank you very much for inviting me this morning. <laughs>